Hello viewers, I'm back with another video and this time it's a chemistry video. So in today's video, I'm going to do the chemical reaction of forming washing soda from baking soda. So converting this sodium bicarbonate or NaHCO3 to sodium carbonate or Na2CO3. So actually the reaction is really simple. As you can see in the equation below, I'll heat sodium bicarbonate and we'll get the products sodium carbonate and carbon dioxide gas and water, the two being the byproducts. So the entire reaction is actually dry and you can see it's really simple, not much about it. So it's as simple as that. But the hard part is confirming whether we actually get sodium carbonate or not. So once I make sodium carbonate from sodium bicarbonate here, I will confirm the formation by doing some interesting tests. So that's the fun part. So, so let's get started and make sodium carbonate. So I take some of the sodium bicarbonate into my special heating apparatus. I didn't have a heating spoon so I made up one with aluminium foil. If you carefully notice, you can see the powder has really become very um, soft. I mean, you can, see, you can see it moving. So this is probably because of the release of carbon dioxide gas, which makes the powder a little fluffy. So probably the reaction is occurring. And in fact, this is the same thing that happens when you use baking soda in cooking that makes the dough rise. So looks like we are done. So this looks like sodium carbonate white in color but remember that the product formed here is actually anhydrous sodium carbonate or just Na2CO3 which is also known as soda ash and not washing soda. So only when I add water to this and this mixture, this salt gets hydrated, it becomes washing soda or sodium carbonate decahydrate having um, 10 water molecules associated with it as you can see here. You can see this white powder looks no different from this sodium bicarbonate yet it is different, I say that. So let's go ahead and do the fun part of this video. So our confirmatory tests are based on the fact that washing soda or sodium carbonate is actually more soluble and is more basic in nature than baking soda or sodium bicarbonate and that would help us distinguish the two. So and that's probably an application of washing soda. That's why it's used in washing and it's a better detergent than baking soda. So here you can see I have equal amounts of water in these two beakers. So Okay, so here you see this one. The solution looks cloudy and if you carefully notice there is some precipitate down there some undissolved sodium bicarbonate okay so that tells us this is sparsely soluble and this one sodium carbonate you can see it's also a little cloudy but you can see most of it like almost all of it has dissolved in the solution there is no precipitate so i added equal amount that proves there is some reaction that has taken place and yes sodium carbonate has formed from sodium bicarbonate and now this is not soda ash but actually washing soda because this has been hydrated by the addition of water let's go ahead okay so it looks like both of them are soapy and baking soda is like very very like mildly soapy and this one 
the washing soda is much more soapy than this one. So yes, again we can say washing soda has formed. So this one, I dip in here. Okay, and you can see it's very clearly green, like dark green in color. Let's put it here. Oh my god, clearly violet in color. Right? So again, that tells us this is much more basic. That means a reaction has taken place and washing soda is formed from baking soda here. Cool, isn't it? Emulsification test. Now we saw sodium carbonate is soapy as I touched it. And related to that is the emulsif emulsification test that would prove that thing right. So I put this solution into these test tubes so now I'll add some oil into this okay so here you can see sodium bicarbonate if you carefully notice the oil is not completely emulsified you can see the large oil droplets so this is a little emulsification not much sorry and in this sodium carbonate solution so if you can see the difference the oil is actually like more soluble it looks more emulsified so that again proves that sodium carbonate like this one is actually sodium carbonate and the reaction did take place in fact because sodium carbonate is a good emulsifier of oils it is used as an ingredient in detergents and that's the reason it's called washing soda so long story short this Solution is actually sodium carbonate that we made from sodium bicarbonate or baking soda powder So if you find the reaction and the tests involved in this video interesting Go ahead and do the reaction and the tests at your home and do not forget to like subscribe and share